The situation with swift parrots is really dire. There's only a few hundred left. And in the case of the swift parrot, extinction is a choice. If we continue to get rid of these forests through logging, the swift parrots won't exist anymore. These birds are just so gorgeous and they have such an incredible life history. They have these epic journeys and they're beautiful birds. They're like green arrows shooting through the forest and they've got this fantastic call and just, you can't help fall in love with them. When the spotted gum forest is in flower, it just attracts big flocks of swift parrots that come to feast on the bounty of the, of the nectar and also the little lurp insects. Bird watching has become such a, a growing ecotourism industry, which is great. It's attracting all different walks of life to come into the natural environment. And it's a wonderful way that we can get people involved in nature and also see the value of these incredibly beautiful natural environments with old growth forest. Where we're standing, we recorded 1,200 birds in 2012. To have seen that many birds is is quite special. And in Boyne State Forest, I had seen hundreds of swift parrots across a number of years. And yet, you know, I turned up in August and they'd logged that whole area. It was heartbreaking. I just couldn't believe it. I, I just cried. So much of the world has environmental degradation. Let's be smarter than that. We know what we need to do to save swift parrots, which is to protect the habitat that they rely on to survive. We need these trees. We need these trees for the swift parrot, for the region honey eaters, for all the species. We have to take a stand. We have to make that choice that we want swift parrots to share our planet with us.